in today's video, I will teach you how this logic box is work because I have a NAND logic alarm system box so show in tip so this is a logic and uh, uh, NAND, NAND logic alarm system so there are two buttons so although this box is very thin because this box have anything you need a uh, on build so on build power supply on build chips and on build buzzer so previously you can miss you can see my previous videos I will use a logic dex which have three or four modules to combine to make a logic setup. Some switch is extra modules, main logic board is extra, power supply is extra, and output is extra. But this is if everything is combined in single unit. But this can produce sound because the other logic dex have a LED indicator which can turn on and off while output high low. But this can produce only sound so that's why zero not show, show the table zero zero one zero one output one one zero output one and one output zero so it means if press one button buzzer is turn on if press both single button buzzer still still beep if push this button buzzer is still beep if push both button at same time buzzer will stop just find out but still no switch because it's not isolate main you can see if press one button it's not turn on then set the button if press not turn on if press both button at the same time just this like 0 0 1 switch and 1 1 0 or 0 1 so first try both are 0 it's turn on if press A is 0 and B A is 0 and B is 1 output is I if B A is 1 and B is 0 is output I both are 0 then its output is slow I can show you a circuit diet uh, I can show you circuit diagrams so which are live those means this is this unit is not built uh, uh, SMP uh, isolation power supply so that's where it is a risky if you turn on and come across this Pin of uh, uh, pin of the IC because although it's low voltage, but it is not isolates isolates in mains. Now those are circuit. Live mode no, 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 rectify uh, rectify which is involved. Fd DC and B are one to four, and then it's moved two by two microfarad four and two volt negative those two IC, which is a mystery IC pin number one and pin number two to one two by two kilo ohm resistor per just turn set and pin number is a eight pin IC pin number five pin number six is ground. Pin of 7, pin 8 is up. Output switch, pin which and switch the inductor coil when it's turned on. When inductor is through this the resistor, once it's turned trigger, this coil acts like an electroman a self induction, which then de energized by this 1 and 4 times 7 diode and then it's moved 260 volt to 32 meter fire, which is retained 5 volt. This 5 volt goes to a setting thermal, which is a LM3325 temperature IC which is equal to 3, 4, 5. Pin number 6 is negative and pin number 7 is input and pin number 8, 9, 9 is output and 10, 11, 12, 13 pin is positive. So they are positive to one push button to pin number and, and other push button to 220 ohm resistor to down. So when push this button, these the output is still high, low, input is low, output is high. And when suppose this button output is feed input, this signal is high and output is also high. But if you press both, there are some source of voltage divider which can input the IC to feedback and then it's going to stop. Small little circuit of a uh, alarm system. So basically, there are lots of types of alarm systems logic alarm systems but there are some are four input this is it can combine three logic date so one logic date is there are three logic date logic number date one logic date two logic date three so for example there are four inputs one zero output zero one one output one and then it's no R0. This is a logic date, 4 weight logic date. 
if for example it is one then it stores one and output stores also one instead of the zero so this is a basic little alarm system so it put this test three alarm logic data to bind to make a four channel logic data between four input and single output so you can there are four inputs with different parameters like the switch like the push buttons or the LDR photo register to connect and various sensors to connect input which can measure up different side different areas light or temperature then it can turn on a one common buzzer accordingly so some for example some room Room number one is temperature is too high and room number two is temperature is very low. So it stays output is high, both room temperature is same, output is low or a first one and second one is high, output is still zero, I mean low. So that's why you can use this one. But this is a small little project for only two input and one output, just for normal genetic large dates. And every large data is fundamentally same. And this is the next video soon possible.